We simulated five fights using EA Sports UFC 4. The simulations have Jan in a clean sweep, winning five out of five simulations. Jan had five knockouts in the second, third, and fourth round. Let's have a look back at what our guests and professional fighters have predicted for this bout. I think that Piotr Jan, who sometimes is a slow starter, is going to come out flying. He wants to get that belt back. He doesn't believe Sterling is the champion. And there's been a lot of trash talk in the time since that disqualification handed Sterling the belt. I think that Jan is going to get it done early. I think he's going to smash Aljo down and he's going to submit him in the first round. I'm going to have to go with Peter Jan by decision. I definitely have Piotr Jan winning that fight. Um, I think it's going to be by complete domination. After the first time they fought, it was pretty decisive on Jan's part. Uh, up until that illegal knee, obviously, but uh, yeah, uh, Jan by domination. I'm going to go with Peter Jan by decision. I'm going to have to go with Jan for this one. Based off of their last fight they had together, I think Jan is just the more complete fighter. He's aggressive, he's strategic, he comes in with that high guard. And over the course of five rounds, he only gets stronger as the fight progresses. You know, I think in their last fight, Sterling showed he's tough, he's durable, he can take a lot of punishment. He's going to hang tough, he's going to stay in there. I think Jan is just going to be too much for him. He's going to mix it up high-low, um, even in the, the takedowns and wrestling department. He was hitting him with those nice throws. Uh, he knows how to blend everything together. I don't want to discredit Sterling. He's a great fighter. Obviously, he comes out with that, that funk. He's got that awkward, unorthodox kind of style. You know, he could pose some problems. It's going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> I gotta go with Jan on this one. Jan takes this again. He just has his number. Right? He's too good. His boxing is too good. And he can do enough to control the range and defend the grappling exchanges. I don't think that Elgin's gonna be able to create enough entries into grappling positions or enough chaos to get Jan off his game where he might let up a grappling situation for Elgin to maybe get a sub. I don't think that'll happen. I think that Jan will just have control of the fight. And I got Jan. TKO in round three. I'm sure this fight will be more competitive than the last one, but you know, as long as someone goes over the unified rules of MMA with Jan before this fight, I think Peter Jan gets it done and uh, probably finishes it within five rounds. Peter Jan, knockout or maybe decision. I don't know. 